Now you know he did. Woo! Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Come on, throw another one. Bop! Okay. Here we are. Diamond City. Finally made it to the entrance. We're not quite there yet, but we're getting closer. We're literally right freaking there. Uh, I definitely think we're gonna have to fight some enemies. This, this look like this setting us up for some freaking fight. Look at this. We definitely finna be fighting. Oh yeah, you had that gunfire? Yup, I knew it. Okay, let me see. We, look at this. We're right there. Diamond City. We're right freaking there at the entrance. Yo, where's Codward? Come on, Codward. I'm gonna need you with you. I'm gonna need you with me. We're right freaking there, man. Diamond City. Okay, they're like science and stuff. Okay. Y'all go ahead and fight. Oh, they finally get some super mutants. We made it. You come from across the Charles? Long hike. Yeah. Nothing to see here. Long hike. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Hey, Stop Piper. Around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm in Piper. Doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. I know you're listening, Danny. Open the gate. You. You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. Yeah. Be trying to finesse. What, what's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. <laughs> but that worked. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. All right, cool. Sounds good. Let's go. Another great day in Diamond City. Who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatening uh, to throw free speech in the dumpster. Listen, let me see. What newspaper? Not my business. This really isn't any of my business. Exactly. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this cool breaker here tell you otherwise, all right? Hey, I want some new guns, some new I'm stuff. Sure the city's a great place. Yep. <laughs> yeah, greatest house of cards in the Commonwealth. Until the wind blows. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? Uh, my son. My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through. These suckers got football gear on me. Uh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Okay. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have time for any more. <laughs> I'm a busy man. 
Enjoy your stay in our fair city. This is like I don't even know, this bro. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates any I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> Dale. Mmm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. Do you feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have oh. an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Okay, well, whoa, what are you talking about, bitch? We just met. <laughs> Shit. Bruh. This is the famous Diamond City. Damn, this is amazing. Favorite flips on Clyde and Shell, huh? Hey, pal. Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. Yo, this is crazy. Anyone I'm a city market. Oh, man. You got a robot button? Oh, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Officer? I hear there's a bar in the old theater district that's for raiders only. The combat zone. Stay clear of it, you. Well, I mean, if you see, I kind of got raider armor on, so I can kind of blend it with them. You know, so if I put one little mask on. But, anyways, though. Hey, what's up? Everyone else may be closed, but Diamond City Surplus is open 24 hours a day. All right, El Cosmo, this is like your cousin, bitch. Valentine. Oh, what is the homie Valentine? I remember Valentine. Yo, I remember Valentine, bro. He's that synth. That's crazy. What's up? Something wrong. His ties. Ellie Perkins. Oh, Nick. Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just the detective. He's gone missing. Don't worry, I can help. Tell me what happened. <sighs> Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked Skinny Malone. The, the hell? The station. It's like There's an old Post Malone in the alternate the universe. Space. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but. He just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Hey, that dude, Nick, he, he, hey, man. Who's this skinny Malone? <laughs> I don't know skinny. much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast of ways. It's kind of with power there care about two like things. a weird because Good Neighbor, but they good. I mean, they bad. Uh, okay. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Hey, this the homie Nick. Be easy spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat get up. Please hurry. I know how I know how you look. Sure, Kai's word. What's up? Oh, just a little something I'd like to get off the old proverbial chest. I, I just want to say what an honor it is for me to accompany you. You've no idea the horror these past two centuries have wrought. The initial destruction, not knowing if you and your family were all right, uh, it was a relief just to find the entrance intact. I'm sorry, Codsworth. It was so sudden that not even time for goodbyes. Not a single worry, sir, as I shared your priorities completely. Family safety first, above all else. Yep. And yes, while it was hard at first, I was able to eventually move on. <laughs> at first, That's it was good. the work. Busying myself day and night, and believe me, there was plenty of it. But eventually, the work became light chores. What truly saved me was my memories, sir. Memories of you and the missus, young Shaw. Of your love and kindness. I soldiered on, fueled by hope that one day, if not you and the wife, that Sean, or perhaps Sean's children, would one day emerge. I'm glad you stuck around. Oh, sir, you don't know how good it is to hear you say that. I just wanted you to know how much I consider you family. I may be a mere robot to some, but I, I do hope you've come to see me as more. 
I consider you one percent definitely God's worth. We're in this world for the long haul. Together. Sir, you don't know how wonderful it is for me to hear that. I feel completely recharged. Well, enough blither blather from me. Let's get back to it, shall we? Uh-huh, let's do it. Bruh. He's still in! He's still in! So yeah, let's go. Oh my goodness, man. We're going to have to we finna go all the way over there, bro. Cosworth, please stay close. Because, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I mean, I, I've definitely upgraded my weapons. Especially compared to, you know, we was at, at the start of the game. But, us exploring more farther into the map. And the world and stuff. It's definitely gonna be more, like, more harder. Like, the enemy's gonna take more damage. You know what I'm saying? Eat more shots and shit. And they're gonna do more damage at the same time, like them with their weapons and stuff. So, whoa! Oh shit! Okay, yep. So look at that. This is a war zone. No Call of Duty, bitch. <laughs> like everybody just—it's like group versus group. They just fighting each other. I'm going to try to skip over all of that shit. We're gonna have to get back. Oh my god! Look at this dude right here. Uh, let me get your bottle cast, man. Thank you. I am here. So look my eye. Is he hostile? I think that's a hostile joy, B. Star Star Wars. Okay. Park Street Station. Let's go ahead and hit him up. Come on, B. We up in the Park Street Station. Bro, look at this. I'm telling you, joining Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever made. Oh. Look at this place. I still say Malone's weak. Caught that detective snooping around him. What does he do? Locks him up. Oh shit! Damn! Woo! What the fuck? Yo, what is happening? What is happening? Bruh. Okay, come on. Oh shit, I missed. Oh, come on. <clears throat> Yo ass back, dude. Uh huh. Oh lord, Cosmo messed them up. Yeah, these dudes look, they eat shots, bruh. These suckers eat shots, man. Okay, come on. Oh, I got his ass. Damn. You got him? I think you got him. We got the ass. And these suckers ugly, boy. Damn, look at that gun. That shit look nice as hell. I'm gonna take that. You suckers packing the heat. Pick me up one of their little submachine guns. Yo, these do. Oh my goodness. They are all down here. All right. I ain't gonna let them. They ain't gonna kill me. Man. All right, he down. Got his ass. Do that bit. Hold don't piece off. I got you. I got you, though. You finna be dead. Pop! Just like that. Clean headshot. What they got him up in his vault or something? Well, there are more access ready. Then got this pit boy with us. Hold on. Gotta be ready. They might be, they might be up in there, B. Hold on. Vault 114. Okay. Why think so loud? What are you, idiot? Oh shit. Come on, bitch. Oh shit. Uh-oh. 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 Oh Lord, I blew his head off, bitch. Damn. Come on. Come on. Get him, get him, get him. Look how look how you stupid ass moving. Get your ass back. Get out, man. Where is this dude so Nick at? Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't. Uh-huh. Woo! Sneak attack, bitch. Damn! I let that ass up. This stuff, Cosworth. Got him. 
Where the hell is this dude Nick at, bro? How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? Oh shit. What is that? Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone oh. more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing, you got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy cheating card shark, I think were his exact mm -hmm. words. <clears throat> <clears throat> Bitch! Oh shit. He do a lot of damage. And they got the Molotovs with us. Pop! Mm-hmm. Hold on, wait a second. Throw another one. Bam! Go oh, ahead. Hey, his, his health is going down. His health is going down. He's about to die. He got his ass. Uh-huh. Hey, Look at that boy, Nick. Yeah. Uh, first, let me, uh, bam. Alright, cool. Oh, shit. Yeah, uh, I'm going on it. Alright, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not the best. Okay, nah. Blah, blah. Okay, override door controls. Main override initiated. Opening door. Okay, the door opening. We good now, B. We good now. All right, come on, B. Wait a second. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Let's serve it. Hold on, get these oh, voice God. tapes. What's is, up, Nick? Why did you come all this way? Risk life and limb. Look at that boy, Nick. My son, Sean, is missing. He was kidnapped. But I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? Well, you came to the right man. Not the right place. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Bet. Let's do this. Alright, look at that. We got the homie Cosworth, and we got Nick, man. Malone's crew here used to be small time. Muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players. So they found this place. Don't know what happened to the previous owners, but they're not exactly around to charge rent. An empty vault. Perfect hideout. How do you want to play this? Job hey, it don't matter to me. Prison. Let's just get the freak up out of here. Take so fucking long, huh? Hey, Dino, quit razzing that detective and get down here. Where? Well, Woo! Got his uh, two shot, bitch. Don't have the key. Almost got there we are. Dang, what the? Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. Yeah, it... okay. Alright, he did that, bitch. All you're doing just messing with it and stuff. What? Oh, shit. <laughs> bitch. Stupid. Get your way back. No. Bitch. Come on. No. Get the fuck back, boy. Ooh, I gotta loosen up. I got the fidgets. Who said that? What? Damn, bitch. You're running from my daughter like that, bitch. Woo. Get the fuck off, you stupid. What the hell wrong with you, boy? Get it there, Nick. Get him, boy. Dude, the boss said, fuck you. Man, come on, B. Yo, you a goddamn robot, if anything. Woo! Come on, B. Nope. How'd that feel? Stupid. That was, ooh, that was a direct hit, too. I know he dead. He right there. How you not dead yet? Hit him up, hit him up. All right. Skinny Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. Yeah. Another locked door. Oh my God. Locked door nation, bitch. Go and do your little magic. Come on. Uh huh. Look at that. I got it. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. 
Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. Mm-hmm. I'm ready, B. Ooh, and we got hell y'all more for this gun too, B. Let's go, you ready? Come on, Nick. Nicky, what are you doing? Whoa. Come into my house, shoot up my guys. You have any idea how much oh, this is shit. gonna set me back? Look at this, I B. Right here. Be here if it weren't for your two-timing game, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Bitch. Shame you got beat up by a girl. I'll just I'm about to throw a grenade. Should have left it alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle. You I'm hear about me? to throw this shit. I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him. But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Come on, throw another one. Bop. Oh, oh shit. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, fuck him up. I told y'all. Mm-hmm. You stupid bum. Let me see this bitch right here. That's your ass side. Let me get your dress, bitch. Oh, oh shit. You get naked? Okay. Uh-huh. Awkward conversation with Darla's parents when I tell them their daughter bit the big one. <laughs> well, at least the case is closed. Yep. Let's get out of here. There's a service ladder that should take us right to the surface. Let's get it. Ah, look at that Commonwealth sky. Yes, sir. I never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did no you know problem, man. Find me anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about your Yeah, that'd be some dope, man, because she look good. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. Yeah. I do a lot. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Yes, sir. Okay. Unlikely Valentine. So we just did that, y'all. Okay. Let me see. We're level 13. Let me see. Uh, where, where, where should we show your rank? Oh, yeah, right there at the bottom. So, yeah, we're level 13 now. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoy. If y'all did, make sure to like, subscribe. As you can see, we've had leveled up a lot all the way from where we start, you know. Also, let me see. Let, let's look at the map, you know. This is our, uh, this is a sanctuary. We made it all the way up here. Look how much I've grinded so far, so far, guys. Like, this is how much I've been grinding so far. Went all the way over here, all the way down here. You know, got all this stuff. Got my sanctuary up. As you see, it's 71%. We got six people in that joint already. You know, uh, we have un unlocked other little parts for the Minutemen. You know, uh, yeah, we all in Diamond City. So, yeah, you know. These old buildings and alleyways give you a lot of opportunities to hide if things get bad, but that goes both ways. Always keep your eyes out and your head on a swivel. Things can go from calm to deadly in a heartbeat. Yeah, Norman be. city is as close to safe as you can get in these parts. Security keeps the perimeter under control. It's always a struggle. Oh, I shit. I saw something. Yeah, be. I thought I saw something, too. Woo! You suck it down, get him down, get him down. That bitch said coolant. I thought you said Kool-Aid. <laughs> but anyways like though. The bragging, it really is the most secure settlement around. Even if it comes with a few uptight guards. But anyways though, I'm gonna end already, y'all. If you guys enjoyed, if y'all did, you know, we've been on that Fallout 4, you know, having fun, playing around stuff, chilling, upgrading. You know, making it far and stuff. I can't wait to make it far into this game. I'm telling y'all, this game is amazing. It is so fun. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If y'all did, make sure to like, subscribe. I love y'all, and I'm going to see y'all next episode. Hey, we got some new guns, too. We're making it real far, y'all. Oh, shit. I oh, know. That's uh, Diamond City Security. We cool. They're going to let us be in.